In the last video we saw how the determinant changes or doesn't change under various row operations and we're going to use that to calculate some determinants. So first let's take the matrix A equals 1, 4, minus 4, minus 2, minus 2, minus 4, uh, 3, minus 3, 3. So we could apply our formula of saying, okay, we pick one thing from every row so that no two are in the same column. We multiply them together and pick signs, but that's going to take a long time. So I am going to use these other tricks instead. So let's first of all use type one row operations to put this guy into echelon form. We're not going to change the determinants as we go along. So. Um, what do we do first? We want to get rid of this minus 2 and we want to get rid of this 3. So we're going to sub, uh, add 2 copies of row 1 to row 2 and we're going to subtract 3 copies of row 1 from row 3. So row 2 goes to row 2 plus twice row 1. Row 3 goes to row 3 minus 3 row 1. we're going to get what? Well, this will become 0. If I add 2 copies of row 1, um, that's adding 8 to minus 2, so I'm going to get minus 6. No, sorry, plus 6. And if I add 2 copies of this, I'm going to get minus 8 of minus 4, so that's minus 12. In the bottom row, subtracting 3 copies of row 1, this is going to go away, this is going to become 0. Um, if I subtract 3 times 4 from 3, I'm going to get minus 15. And if I subtract 3 copies of minus 4 from 3, I'm going to get plus 15. So that's those two operations. This is still not in echelon form. I have this 15 here to get rid of. So to get rid of that, what do I need to do? Um, I need to do row 3 goes to row 3 plus 5 over 2 row 2. So the 5 over 2 is going to turn that 6 into a 15. So let's uh, copy and paste this guy. So this minus 15 is going to become a 0. Um, so let me just think, because I'm not so quick at this, minus 12 times 5 over 2. So 12 over 2 is 6, 6 times 5 is 30. So this is going to be 15 minus 30, that's minus 15. Okay, and this is in echelon form. And these are type 1 row operations. They don't change the determinant. So rather than calculating the determinant of A directly, I can just calculate the determinant of this. Which, remember, it's upper triangular matrix, all the non-zero entries are on the diagonal or above it. So I just get the product of the three diagonal entries. So it's 1 times 6 times minus 15, which is minus 90. Okay, let's do another example. Um, let's do a 4 by 4 example. So 2, minus 3, minus 1, 4, 2, minus 3, 2, 4, 2, minus 1, minus 4, minus
minus 3, 2, minus 3, 4, 2. Let's call this B. Okay, so again, I can do row operations to turn this into something in echelon form. So first, I've got to get rid of this mass of 2s on the left-hand side. So I'm going to do row 2 goes to row 2 minus row 1, and the same for row 3 and 4. And, you know, rather than watching me do this, you should just do it for yourselves and, um, you know, fast forward and see if you got the right answer. Okay, so I know all that this is to cancel all these two, so they're going to be zeros. Uh, so minus three, minus minus three is going to be zero as well. Um, two minus minus one is going to be three, and four minus four is going to be zero. That's row two. Uh, row 3, we've done the first entry. Second entry is going to be minus 1, minus, minus 3, that's 2. Minus 4, minus, minus 1, that's minus 3. And minus 3, minus 4 is minus 7. This last row, minus 3, minus, minus 3, that's 0. Uh, 4, minus, minus 1 is 5. And 2, minus 4 is is minus 2. Okay. So what I'm going to do, um, just, you know, to demonstrate what happens, I'm going to swap rows 2 and 3 because actually, you know, although this is not an echelon form, swapping rows 2 and 3 will make it a lot closer. Um, So when I do that, let's see if I can, uh, so there's row 2, there's row 3, row 3 is going to go up there, row 3 is going to, uh, row 2 is going to come down here. You see that looks a lot better, there's a lot more zeros down in this uh, bottom left, but remember, when I did this, the determinant changed sign. So afterwards, when I compute the determinant of the echelon form matrix, I'll have to stick a minor sign in front of it to get the determinant of B. Finally, I want to get rid of this 5 here. So I'm going to subtract um, what? I'm going to subtract 5 thirds. Oops. Row 4 goes to row 4 minus 5 thirds row 3. need a new page so this 5 is going to go away and become a 0 and the minus 2 is having 5 thirds of 0 subtracted from it so nothing changes and this is now in echelon form so the determinant of this matrix is 2 times 2 times 3 times minus 2. Just product of the diagonal entries, so that's uh, minus 24. So remember to get the determinant of B, I need to change the sign. So the determinant of B is 24. You can actually get away without um, doing this kind of thing without switch, switching rows. Um, I could have, for example, added row 2 to row 3 to bring the 2 up to this here, and then used row 2 to cancel the 2 in row 3. That would have got me into echelon form eventually, but it would have taken a lot longer.